CO, thanks for stopping in. My name's Jessica, and I'm an artist who's trying to make it full-time, but hasn't made it there quite yet. There have been a couple of developments since my last vlog, so I'll go ahead and update you on that right now. The first one is that I entered my very first art show, and funny enough, it had nothing to do with digital art, which is kind of the medium that I am pursuing. <laughs> uh, rather, it was gouache and acrylic on canvas. I've gone to this particular art show for the last few years just as a viewer, and this year I made it my goal to actually enter as an artist. Uh, thankfully, it was accepted, and I'm going to have to drive down to Tahlequah soon uh, to drop off the artwork uh, in order for them to get it ready to show this weekend. A second thing that happened and was super exciting was a portfolio review with the Animation Guild. It was incredibly insightful. My reviewer was a no-nonsense kind of guy, which I appreciated because I went into the review knowing that this was going to be a critique and I wanted to get better and normally I am very tender-hearted about things, but I think because I kind of gave myself a pep talk, I was mentally ready for that critique. Like I was ready to know what was wrong with my art, with my website, with anything, you know, just to get better. And honestly, I'm really proud of myself because five years ago, I would not have been able to take that kind of criticism. Hearing the things that he felt was wrong with my portfolio really lit a fire in me and it's made me want to do better. I want my portfolio to shine. I want it to be something that I'm proud of showing people and that obviously gets me a job. Something that I thought was really interesting was that a lot of the pieces that he had a problem with were paintings that I worked on like over two or three years ago. And he would have had no idea that that was my old work, but obviously what that says to me is that I have improved, which is exciting, <laughs> but also that I need to take those old pieces of art down and either rework them or just kind of eliminate them from the portfolio in general. So after I go through and kind of weed out the weak ones, I'm going to choose a few that I think I can improve with minimal time and then put back up on the website to, uh further make my portfolio good, better, the best it can be. friends so it is a Saturday afternoon and I just got done walking having some breakfast and I think I'm going to work on my portfolio today I had that portfolio review earlier and the reviewer had some pretty good critiques that I would like to implement so my plan today is just to go through some of my old pieces and revise them bring some new life to them and hopefully make them look a lot better than what they do now um, I also wanted to go to a local bakery because uh, someone that I met recently uh, was talking about how she sells her macarons at this bakery and uh, they also sell artwork from local artists. So I really wanted to go ahead and meet this person, maybe buy a few things from the bakery and see if my art would potentially be something that would fit with the look of her bakery and see if maybe she would be willing to let me um, try to sell art there. So yeah, just another, another fun thing, another little avenue. So I'm excited to maybe get my name out there in a different way that I've never done before. And um, I'm also really excited to buy macarons.
okay so um i went in and i got really shy <laughs> so i started off with just being like oh i'd like two macarons please and then um i went ahead and asked the person at the front um just about the artist work and how i heard about them and um they had said oh well you know we were probably about to switch out actually for fall we try to alternate you know through artists for the different seasons and i was like oh wow you know i'm an artist is there like a way to like how would what's the process for that you know and um they handed me a business card and i'm supposed to email the owner and um hopefully she'll get back to me and we'll see if maybe i can post some of my art up in here and if not no worries uh it was still a success because I got macarons. This one is tiramisu. Mm. It's so good. So I just got home and um, I have to go to Tahlequah to drop off my painting for the art show, but I just wanted to show you really quick. Isn't it nice? I mean, I, I think it is, but <laughs> I was really happy with it. I thought it turned out pretty well. Um, I like the gold foil on it. The painting itself is called Where's the Gold? And it was inspired by several different things. Uh, but mainly I took it from my indigenous roots and wanted to reference like colonizers coming over and looking for valuables, gold, things like that, um, and kind of destroying everything in their path in order to get those things. Um, the vermilion that you see was kind of a blood color. The blues were resembling waves or water, uh, but then it also kind of represents my love for Japan. Um, the dark blue areas, if you look at it, it kind of is the shape of Japan. And then the uh, vermilion, I brushed it on in a way that kind of reminded me of cherry blossom trees. So 
Yeah. Um, anyways, time to go to Tahlequah. Hello! So today is the day that we're going to go down to Tahlequah and officially view my art in the gallery. Sorry, my cat is scratching outside my door. Go away! Go away! Anyways, and we're going to go down to Tahlequah to not only view the art, but also hang out at the intertribal powwow and probably eat some Indian tacos because those are the best thing in the world. There is an artist banquet that is going on after the gallery closes and I was invited to that so I think it would be really cool to just see what it is and who all is there and maybe meet some new people. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take video of the banquet. In the past whenever we've gone to the art gallery for the national holiday they've made it very clear that they don't allow videos or photos of any of the art inside the gallery. So unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to show you my art actually like hanging up in there, which is a bummer, but um, still super exciting nonetheless. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head down now. Oh, also, I just wanted to like call myself out for this outfit because I know I wore this down uh, whenever I was dropping off the art at the gallery. But uh, yeah, I only have like one nice outfit for summertime because it's all breezy, you know, and lightweight. And uh, yeah, so it's this one. And I'm probably going to look like a cartoon character to the gallery people because I wear the exact same thing every time they see me. Hey guys, so I actually have really great news. Um, we drove down to Tahlequah today to pick up my artwork from the show because I'm sure, as you saw, it wasn't sold. Like, it didn't have, like, the little red dot saying sold, you know, whenever I was there yesterday. And whenever we got there, I couldn't find it, so I went over to the curator and was like, hey, you know, this is the name of the piece, this is what it looks like, and, um, yeah. She said it sold, and I'm so happy. <laughs> this was my very first art show. Um, it's my first time putting my art in a gallery, and it's also my first time actually selling an art piece. Uh, I have always just given away my paintings as gifts, or you know, maybe they just didn't sell, or I ended up putting it up in my own house. But um, yeah, either way, this is the first time that like one of my paintings has actually sold and it just means so much. Like it means so much that out of all of the beautiful pieces of work in that room, mine whispered to someone and it spoke to them and they decided to purchase it. So yeah, I'm just in a really good place right now. I'm very happy. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to update you on that. Just got home from work and I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on editing a YouTube video. I was able to get a video out at the end of August, which I was really excited about, but also I feel like 
I could have gotten it out sooner, but then I try not to be so hard on myself because I know that I post as often as I can. I still have a full-time job that I have to work, and I also have a personal life that I'm just not willing to compromise. So this truly is what I do in my spare time, like the time that I don't have plans for already. I don't know. I try not to get too wrapped up in the hustle of it, although I do acknowledge that some weeks I hustle more or I need to hustle more, rather. Um, and others, I think it's nice to remember that you are still living a life and you need to be happy while you live that life. So, I don't know. I try to have some grace on myself because I do tend to want to be a busybody and work on everything all day long.